Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press here. I'm going to be talking about the Publish Press plugins together with the Elementor page builder. Elementor is a really popular way to build WordPress sites and it's growing really quickly. One Publish Press customer asked us if it was possible to allow some WordPress users to edit a single post created with Elementor. Now, normally using the Publish Press plugins, this would be really easy. However, Elementor requires a little workaround because of some extra restrictions it places on who can edit posts. What I'm gonna show you in this video is how you can lock down individual users to just one post created with Elementor. So I have Elementor installed on this test site and what I'm gonna do is set up a user role which is specifically for Elementor users. I have the Capabilities plugin installed. This is Publish Press Capabilities and you can get it from wordpress.org and also from publishpress.com. And at the moment, we see all the permissions for WordPress users in front of us. And in the top right corner, you can see the default WordPress roles. There are five of them. We're going to copy the subscriber role and make some small changes to it. We're going to use the subscriber role because it has a very limited set of permissions and the user we're going to create is going to have a very limited set of permissions. They're going to have access to just one particular WordPress post. So look down in the right sidebar and there's an option to copy the subscriber role. I'm gonna call this Elementor user. And so this is going to be for anyone that we want to restrict to individual posts using Elementor. I'm gonna click on copy. And now this has been automatically selected in the top right corner. And I'm looking at the capabilities or permissions for the Elementor user. What I need to do here is restrict the ability of these users to create new posts and to do that, I'm going to go down and make sure this box is checked down here. If it's not, check this box and click update. What we're going to do next is control the post permissions for our elemental user role. This is going to be a very basic, very locked down role. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that most of the boxes for posts have an X in them. So this user is not going to be able to create posts. This user is not going to be able to edit other people's posts or publish posts. However, I am going to put a check in this particular editing box. So what we're doing is locking down the Elementor user to be able to edit posts, but not create or publish or edit other people's posts. All they're gonna be able to do is log in and edit the one post we give them access to. So click on save changes, and this is what we see. If you scroll down, you'll see that this particular user has very, very limited permissions in here. Okay, so now we have the Elementor user role ready. I'm going to create a user inside that role. So I'll go to the user screen, click add new, and just to make it easy to track this user, I'm going to use Elementor for all elements of their account. Okay, Elementor, Elementor, and of course, I will put them in the Elementor user role. And for the next step, I need to make sure I have a second Publish Press plugin installed. This one is called Permissions. So, in order to follow along with this tutorial, we need Publish Press capabilities and publish press permissions as well. So if you haven't got that yet, on the plugin screen, click add new. You can search for publish press or for permissions. And publish press permissions is available to install from your admin area. This is the plugin that's going to control access to the individual pages for the Elementor users. You'll see it in the left sidebar, after you've enabled it, just under capabilities. 
Let's see it in action. We'll go to the post screen and I'm going to click add new. And this will be the Elementor post. And I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. Once I've done this, Elementor will take over control of the post. I'll add a quick heading. I will publish it. And we have a post which is created now with Elementor. What we're going to do is allow anyone in the Elementor role access to this post. And the way we do it is by looking at the WordPress editing screen here and scrolling down to the bottom to permissions, edit this post. This comes from the Publish Press permissions plugin. Looking at these boxes, you'll see the administrator is set to yes and also the editor role as well. So anyone who is in the administrator role or the editor role is able to edit this post. Anyone else is blocked out. However, we can simply change this from no to enabled. And if we save it, anyone who is an Elemental user is able to edit this one post. Once you've selected enabled, click update. And now anyone who is an Elemental user has access to just this one post. It's also possible to get more specific. If you click on the users tab, you can give access to just one single user. For example, I could search for the user that I've created. And after choosing Elementor, I can move that user account over there and choose enabled just for them. So you have two choices. You can either give editing permission for this single page to a whole role, Elementor users, or perhaps authors, contributors, and subscribers, or you can drill down and give access to only one or two users for this post. Click on update and the access is granted. What we're going to do now is actually test this to see if it works. We've set it up. Have we done it correctly? Let's find out. Go down to users and I have a plugin which allows me to quickly switch to the Elementor test account. And this is what the Elemental user will see. They'll have a very limited set of access permissions inside the site. If this test user goes to the post screen, they should now see only the post that they have access to edit. This is a very low level user, remember, and normally they wouldn't have access to this content. But now my test user can edit the post they can use Elementor happily. They can make changes. And they can update those changes on the site. If they scroll down, they don't have any ability to change the permissions on this post. You'll notice that there's no add new button. They don't have the ability to publish content. And they only see the posts that they have. This is one of the extra advantages in the Publish Press Permissions plugin. It can automatically hide all of the content that you don't have access to edit. So it's a little bit long-winded, but this is because Elementor has a couple of slightly odd restrictions to content. If you do use Publish Press with the Publish Press Capabilities plugin and you use Publish Press Permissions, those two together give you really flexible control over who can edit which Elemental posts.
Okay, time for one more Beaver Builder specific step. In our admin menu, we'll go to settings and Beaver Builder and user access. And when it comes to access to the builder, we're going to make sure the Beaver Builder user is selected. Okay, that's good. I'm going to click on save. And now, uh, 